to nudge that into position all right so next what we're going to do is we're going to go to the home button i mean to the home link and um, we're going to create um, the button that shows when a link is selected so we're going to go to this line tool hold it down and then select this rectangle tool okay so we're going to come here and draw a rectangle like this we're going to double click on this icon to change the uh, the color of the button so we're going to make that um lighter brown or maybe this darker version okay I'll go with this one and then click okay actually this layer now is above the home text so it's not going to show so what i'm going to do is i want to click the home layer and then just drag it above the shape seven like that so you can see now the text is now visible okay i want to highlight the text and change that color to a lighter brown so we're going to do that by um setting the the text color I'm going to double click there and select the background color like that. Then I'm just going to click OK to apply. OK, next we need um, this triangle thing. So uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to this uh, rectangle tool, hold it, hold it down and then go to the custom shape tool. So what we need to do now is we need to come all the way up here and then click this down arrow. And then we need to find the rectangle that needs to go in there. So the one I chose in the design is this one. So I'm going to click once on it and then just click anywhere away from uh, from this dialog box. Making sure I select this shape seven, I'm going to click on the document and then just drag. It doesn't matter what size, what size it is. So now what we need to do is to make sure that we make it face the right way. So I'm going to do that by um, holding down the control key and pressing T to transform. So I'm just going to move my my arrow until I get this curvy pointer. So I'm just going to drag that round like that. What I'm going to do is I'm going to click on the sides just to bring it back into position like that. And then just drag it, dragging it back again like that. Okay. Once you're happy with it, you just apply enter. And then we also want this color to match the color of the rectangle. So I'm just going to double click on the shape eight and then just select uh, and then selecting this color by clicking on the rectangle shape and then pressing OK to apply. We're getting somewhere now. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to click the control semicolon to hide to hide the guides. OK, so it's not too bad. What I've noticed is the rectangle button that I created is showing the gradient and this is not what we want. So we need to re-examine our layers and um, find out what happened right here. OK, so I'm just going to click on the shape tool here we can see that this rectangle is below the nav background so what we're going to do now is click on the nav background and drag it all the way down to just below shape seven like that so now you can see the gradient is gone okay so we're going to come back again to this triangle by just clicking on it double clicking this uh, this icon we need to change the color of the rectangle so we're just going to select the rectangle color using the eyedropper tool so i'll just click once and that's going to take the color of the rectangle and i'm just going to click ok to apply next we're going to start adding the text that goes on the main website so i'm just going to bring back my guides by clicking Control semicolon and uh, i'm going to get the dummy text from lorem2.com okay so that's lorem2.com so i'm just going to click text here and then i'm just going to copy by pressing ctrl c and then i'm going to select the type tool click once on the on our background and just drag out and then just press ctrl v to paste like that now i've noticed that this text is still aligned to the center so i'm going to select this all this text and then just click align left and then change the font to arial which is all the way up to the top. Okay, so we need to go back to the lorem, to lorem 2 and select another paragraph. So again, I'm going to press Control C to copy. And then holding down the type tool, I'm just going to click and drag a rectangle and then press Control V. Now we want this text to be um, slightly smaller. So I'm going to highlight all the text. You can do that by pressing Control A or just clicking and then just dragging until you highlight all the text. Bring down the size to about 16 pixels. Okay, we need a bit more text, so I'm going to copy that, press Control C and then Control V to paste. So I'm going to do this one more time. Okay, I still think this text is too big, so um, select it all, 
and make it smaller. This time I think I'm going to go down to about say 13 pixels. Okay, I can see that now the layers are, get, are getting a bit too messy. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to create all these layers into, into groups. So I'll, I'm going to start by sorting out the navigation here, navigation links. So I'm going to click on home, holding down the control key. I'm just going to select each one of these layers, holding down this icon and going to new group from layers. Okay, so that's our nav. I'm just going to click OK. And I'm just going to put these links just under nav lines. Okay, and uh, this is the copyright and that's the address okay so this needs to go near the footer so i'm just going to drag it down right right to the bottom i'm going to click these three layers okay i need to group the the footer components together so i'm going to go and click the footer line and the copyright so i'm just going to click on the copyright text and just dragging it down and then selecting these two i'm going to go to this icon and click new group from layers and i'm going to call that footer and then OK to apply. And then this is the nav background. I want to click this and just drag it all the way below the nav. OK, I've noticed that um, that gradient has come on again because I've put the nav background above the button. OK, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on these two layers and then create a group called button selected. And then click OK. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to drag it above the nav background. OK, so I'm just going to click on these layers, on these three layers, and then create a group called content. I'm going to click on this triangle to reveal what's in that group. And now I'm going to add this image of the cupcake. I'm going to click the move tool and just drag it to the left. Make sure you're clicking on the layer, then just using your left arrow key, just nudge it into position like this. Okay, now we need to create that order button.